What's up guys, Kevin Cage here with another crypto update. Hope everyone's doing well today. We're going to dive into a bunch and I hope you enjoy this one. So we're going to dive into a variety of assets including XRP, Algo, DAG, Casper, HBAR and more. Look at the total altcoin market cap, total 2 and total 3. Then we're going to run through some news. So first up, we have the XRP price chart on the weekly time frame, the 50 and the 100 MA. Compared to Bitcoin, we can see they got this cross and the continuation. I would absolutely love for XRP to finally start moving and challenge those previous highs that we had back in July over 90 cents. We even have Ethereum taking out the previous highs, RSI poking into overbought momentum at a high, which is great to see. So it's 100% possible here for XRP if we get that turn up to absolutely run and challenge these highs in the future. The thing I don't know about Bitcoin is, is this the run up into all to my prices like 2016 or are we actually going to see one more big crash back into reaccumulation just like we saw for 2019. And even here during March 2020 when Bitcoin did this massive crash, it did a sharp V-shaped recovery actually getting back above the trend line as well as the 21 week EMA. So best case is that Bitcoin sees an all to my price in 2024. Just like in previous videos measuring the length of those cycles using the top of the RSI, it is the same length and that takes us into 2024, not 25. And I'm hopeful for all time high prices, it is just a matter of time in this asset class to eclipse its previous all time high. I just have to make sure I have a plan if we do reject, go back into reaccumulation longer and then have some entries for a variety of alts. So we saw Bitcoin and ETH both over the 100 week MA, we also have total 3, this is the altcoin market excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. We can see the price chart is challenging this previous high. If we take out this high, are we actually out of accumulation for good and we're beginning the retrace? And here's total two. This is just excluding Bitcoin. So the entire altcoin market, we can see we have in fact taken out the previous high. Are we breaking out of accumulation? Will we stay above this level? Weekly RSI is an overbought similar momentum to last cycle. So during a bear market, we have actually before, if you look at previous cycles, during a fake retrace or bull trap, we have come up to these levels, but never really stayed above. So if we stay above, I'm actually more confident that we could be somewhere around here. But just bear in mind that here for the RSI and here, we saw different crashes back into reaccumulation during the bear market before the bull run started, and then we got the show on the road. We also have DAG, DAG of Constellation Network finally reaching over the 500 day MA. This is the first time we surpassed this level, all bear market, which is great. We also have ALGO finally on the move, over 18 cents, over 100% up, also approaching the 500 day. And we have ALGO on the weekly price chart here next to Avalanche or AVAX. We can see AVAX has been a top performer reaching over the 100 week moving average. If this is the start of the next cycle, Bitcoin doesn't crash back down into reaccumulation. A variety of assets are going to retrace very nicely. And during the 2017 bull run, I wrote it up, but I held a lot of assets all the way down and it wasn't a good feeling. I took some profit, don't get me wrong, but it was just a rough reminder and that's why during the previous bear market here, I really took advantage. Because when Bitcoin was under $10,000, all of us that believed in crypto, we just DCA'd into the strongest projects. Even just looking at projects in the top 100 and believing that Bitcoin would create another all-time price surpassing that 19 k level. For even altcoins that I started DCAing into in 2018 and just buying all the way down like an idiot instead of waiting for more of a bottoming structure and just looking at RSI, a lot of us still did well because we tried to buy as much of our alts as possible as low as possible. Bringing that average entry down in different assets all the way down even here and during a bull run a lot of these assets did go into new all time high prices. So I think anybody with a long term view or just anybody that even bought the top of the market you just got into crypto in 2021 and you just got beaten down. Now if you bought micro caps that's a different story they can see much bigger crashes when Bitcoin goes to a cycle low. But for a lot of alts that are more liquid in the top 100 during a bull run Bitcoin goes to an all time high price which is likely in the future whether you think it's 2024 2025 or after it's going to happen. A lot of new investors that bought toward the top and they're down massively. The best thing you can do is if you're in strong assets is DCA into those positions, bring that average down as much as possible. The worst thing people can do is only listen to their emotions and when they're at a cycle low or a potential cycle low, they exit their entire position and then during the bull run, they might actually want to re-enter buying at a higher price. With any strong projects that have terrible price action to draw this crashing structure here like Bitcoin, which is exactly what Algo did all the way back here, all I could do was just DCA as much as possible. I saw the developments. I'm confident that it will recover in the future, but there's still a variety of assets to this day that are down over 90%. And for perspective, and you can use any alt basically in the top 100, you know, Bitcoin from its cycle low up to an all time high about, we'll say, 340%. So 340% or a little over a 4x from its cycle low to its cycle top. When I look at Algo or other assets in the top 100 going to an all time high price, remember Bitcoin was like 340%. 
up here, I mean, we're talking over 2,600%, maybe even higher. And that doesn't mean that alts like Algo are all going to go to an all-time high price. But what it means is Bitcoin at an all-time high price, even if it does a 2x, the probability that other alts will do 3, 5, 10, 20x returns is much higher. So I think it's important to keep that long-term vision for whatever assets you hold. If you don't have conviction in your investments, you're not going to last. We just have to look at history. Bitcoin taking over 1,200 days into a new all-time high. Same thing for last cycle almost 1100 and bottom line i'm more confident in this asset class than i was in 2018 even 2020 when i also believed that bitcoin and the asset class would create a new all-time high yes we can always back test lows at any time but i still believe long term there's going to be a new all-time high price for bitcoin and even for a bitcoin all-time high price from current prices i mean we're just talking a little over 50 percent it might seem crazy but when you experience one or two bull runs your perspective changes and my view is the same as it's always been for the xrp price chart in the weekly time frame still a very similar structure yes yeah, some of it is drawing much longer than bitcoin but we can see bitcoin less bear market got the retrace with candle bodies on the 50 percent fibonacci retracement absolutely perfectly all the way up to that level we crashed down to the 0 0.059 fib exactly what xrp has done thus far got the retrace up to the 50 percent crash back down to the 0 0.059 at 30 cents we can see multiple points of contact for support so notice the exact same fibonacci retracements respecting this level and this is before bitcoin finally broke through that level again into an all-time high price so that's what i'm watching for xrp if we can break through that 50 percent retracement we have an open gap at about a dollar 59 as well that's also the 786 fib if you use this swing high we know bitcoin and ether two of the largest assets in this entire space went all the way up to the 3618 would love for xrp to follow into an all-time high price and hit these golden extensions this cycle I completely understand any frustrated investors that have held for years waiting for an all-time high price and if they're going after different assets i don't blame you for me xrp is one of my largest holdings i'm not buying it when it pumps if it goes back to 30 cents or below in the future i'll absolutely buy some but until then i'm simply waiting for an all-time high price and i also want to be clear for algo just because i'm talking about it i'm not telling anybody to buy it after it just did a 2x from the low i just strongly believe in algorand's technology if you guys follow the cto over at algorand foundation right i think it's foundation john wood He's putting out some information related to Python with the Algo Kit in 2024, making Algorand actually accessible. There's a lot of big developments going on. If you don't like Algo, that's fine. Just remember its all-time high market cap was 15 billion. If you look on charts.cointrader, if it reached its previous all-time high market cap again, that is still a dollar eighty per Algo. And don't get me wrong, there are other assets that might have a much higher rate of return, but I'm still holding my Algo. I have all these fair value gaps above. I'm waiting for an actual retrace. We've had other assets also surpass this blue or the 100 week ma etc and we'll also get new fibonacci pivot levels in 2024 so i'm absolutely going to be looking at those we've had different alts reach the r2 and r3 and there are still a variety of assets that are still down over 90 percent could see a very nice retracement during a bull run especially when we see tvl actually increase and DeFi start growing again and ethereum and a variety of l1s a lot of these dexes and lending platforms are going to recover again so we talk a lot about Bitcoin, not because I hold a lot of Bitcoin, but because this market is not decoupled from Bitcoin. We don't have regulatory clarity. The bulk of alts per history in a variety of cycles are determined by Bitcoin pushing into an all-time high price. When Bitcoin dominance, as we shared before, sees that big rise and that big crash that has led to the alt seasons in 2017 and 2021. So is it possible for Bitcoin from here to crash all the way back down to the lows or a cycle low, continue accumulation before an all-time high? Absolutely. But it's also possible for us to see an all time price, whether that's, you know, 70K, 80K, or even 100,000 plus, and then a huge crash. Like we've seen for multiple cycles, as the RSI rises an all time high, all time high price, again, a giant cup, more of a retracement, but still in all time highs. In the future, whenever we do see that, we're going into all time highs. And that's why I think having an exit plan for your main holdings is so important. So be sure to check out the links in the top of this YouTube video description and right in the pinned comment going over Merlin in the exit plan video. If Bitcoin rejects up here, crashes back down into reaccumulation, meaning the bear market has to last a bit longer before an all-time high, the retail community would be absolutely crushed. MSM and even people on Twitter would be calling crypto a scam all over again, just like we see during every bear market and during every big liquidation event. But when we do see an all-time high price for Bitcoin, just looking at the RSI as well and comparing how overbought it is, I'm going to be staggering out my positions for a variety of assets. And pretend this is an altcoin chart, I would be staggering two to three take profit levels all the way up. I would not be selling at top, but I would be staggering out as much as possible before we see that 50 to even 90% crash across the board in the market. If you bought 
after a 50% crash, you are doubling your position all over again. So when I see Bitcoin in the future cycle approaching the red, the dark red, I know typically after Bitcoin creates an all-time high, there's usually a couple months left where alts do create another all-time high and rocket even higher. In this coming cycle, when this happens, I am selling at least 80% of my holdings. I know that's not popular, but it's right for me. With three sell targets, as explained in the Merlin exit plan video linked in the video description, the target one, I'm getting out my initial investment, maybe even a little profit. If I have two exit plans for a single asset like Casper, I'll have a conservative and a bullish plan. And for both the conservative or the bullish exit plan, my target one is the exact same between both. And then when target one is hit, I recoup my initial investment, then I can decide which plan do I want to execute, the bullish or the conservative plan, target two and three. So after target one is hit, I would look at Bitcoin, I would look at the altcoin market, I would look at the specific alt and decide, do I want to go with the bullish plan where target two and three are much higher to really try to get that great ROI, or do I want to play it safe and go with the conservative plan because I think Bitcoin is likely nearing a top. Either way, getting my target one hit is the most important, and that's why it's a bit more conservative. And I'm just sharing high level how I view the market or what I do for my major holdings it's right for me and my strategy is always evolving as i'm learning more each year and each and every cycle and i'm just trying to fine tune it there's no such thing as a perfect investment strategy everybody has to find what's perfect for them with their risk appetite their time horizon etc the best strategy is the one that works and you still have to have luck on your side you're gonna have luck on your side for certain holdings and then other holdings you're simply gonna have bad luck okay we're gonna dive into the hbar price chart then we're gonna run through some news and huge thanks to anybody still watching this video i know you know some people might watch my youtube shorts but these short clips don't capture all the information needed. If I was actually going to do a deep dive for all of this and share every thought that I had about it, it would be like a three-hour video, and nobody would watch that video unless alts were like at an all-time high. So we're seeing some HBAR price action. The RSI is rising, which is great to see. We have seen others when they pierce this level to go much higher. But just big picture view, HBAR is still in accumulation. We have a variety of fair value gaps above. Getting back up to its previous all-time high market cap, it would be 20 cents at this open fair value gap. We can see the weekly pivot level is yet to be hit at 13 cents by the 2021 low serving as resistance and we've seen other assets get those pops we even had xrp wick up to the r2 and some altcoins i think agix and injective are even at the r3 if not higher for me i'm just waiting for hbar to break out of this accumulation break above 10 cents and start closing some of these fair value gaps before i get excited i shared on twitter the casper contract address you can find this on casper live and just go through the contracts on the mainnet for the ip we mint as we scroll down we can go to deploys and we can see they minted seven hours ago another patent this is using the casper nft standard cep 47 if you click the nft tab you can see tech test one two three one so some of these are tests we can see the contract type for these tests is the CEP47, but I'm still not sure. And you can keep tabs on this on scanspur.com and just follow the IP we mint. Remember, there are 25 million patents to be minted. We're talking, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 Casper per patent. If it's more complex, it could be multiple Casper and future applications could even use 20 or 100 Casper per transaction. So Scansper even says the real mint hasn't started. The real contract will use CEP78. So I'm looking on Casper Live, the block explorer for new contracts created. I don't know if they can upgrade the existing contract into 78. I think they can. So I'm watching the current contract and looking for any new contracts. Remember, Sarsen Funds announced the Casper stablecoin. I am patiently waiting for USDC to have their Casper stablecoin with Circle. Casper Labs and IBM unveiling Brave.ai using Casper Network specifically for AI governance with Watson X, their AI and data platform. And a variety of integrations with GameSwift, Helix Market we've talked about, Team Finance we talked about last video, and Rocket X Exchange. And if you hold Casper, you should definitely read the latest white paper in the protocol roadmap for 2024. Casper 2.0 is actually called Condor, and that upgrade will occur in 2024. Now, Tokenizer highlighted that the AI alliance was actually formed by IBM and Meta or Facebook. A variety of universities. ServiceNow, Hedera's big partner for operational workflows. We have Red Hat. And this is a new AI alliance consisting of companies, startups, universities, research and government organizations, and nonprofit foundations that individually and together are innovating across all aspects of AI technology applications and governance. So we see a lot of groups, but we don't see any crypto projects specifically. It would not surprise me one bit to see Hedera, Casper Labs, and other organizations here in the future. Considering that IBM founded this group as a governing council member of Hedera and has worked with Hedera before, and out of all other layer ones in the entire space, IBM specifically chose Casper. In the Linux Foundation, where Casper Labs is a member, and the Linux Foundation and IBM are basically the founders of the Hyperledger Foundation. You can watch the Casper IBM demo. This is just a clip. The full demo was an hour long. I highly recommend you watch that full one. 
We have Lachlan covering all the big advancements for the XRP ledger. There is a lot being built. And people don't realize, we didn't have this in 2017 when XRP was over three bucks. Even if you consider the all-time high over two bucks, we didn't have nearly as many wallet holders. We didn't have exchange listings and we definitely didn't have regulatory clarity as XRP as a non-security. Plus other news with Dubai and Vara and XRP being able to be used in the DIFC, which is gigantic, and then other ODL users throughout Africa, formerly MFS Africa. This is an awesome thread going over all the big highlights coming to the XRP ledger, discussions and proposals. Cross-chain bridges, EVM sidechains. The automated market maker is going to happen whenever the validators actually vote in agreement. And new plugins making it easier to build modules in various languages that can plug into the XRPL. There's been bug fixes, increased throughput or TPS, and reduced memory consumption. And these are all things you want to see during a bear market or even coming out of a bear market is ongoing development. And you can learn more at xrplresources.org slash developer. Why are financial institutions leveraging the XRP ledger? It is at zero downtime, whereas other networks have completely crashed every few months. All right, guys, that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure you're subscribed for the next one. We're going to dive into a bunch of information. Huge thanks to all to hit the like button. All links are in the video description and have an awesome weekend.